the purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief resume of the methodology for those undertaking blind blood culture subcultures. All staff undertaking the test must have completed training and be signed off as competent. All the work must be undertaken within the Class 1 Safety Cabinet and staff must be familiar with safety precautions. The reason for undertaking this test is that it provides information that is essential to the management of the patient up to 24 hours earlier. The methodology is simple and robust and if you are very busy on call, for example, undertaking an urgent cross match, the blood cultures will wait. In order to perform the test, you will need the following equipment. Three disc dispensers marked ESBL, NEG1 and NEG2. A bijou of sterile saline, a venting needle with alcohol swab, swabs and loops, a gentamicin e-test strip and forceps, a marker pen and gloves, and lastly the following media, one chromogenic agar plate, one chocolate agar plate, one blood agar plate, and four sensitivity agar plates. The initial step is to label the plates. On the neck of the blood culture bottle should be a sticky label with a C number. The C number should be placed at the bottom of the plate together with the date and the time of the subculture. On two of the sensitivity plates, these are labelled ISTA, also mark at the top of the plate ESBL and GENT. Next is to vent the blood culture bottle. Clean the top of the bottle with the alcohol wipe and then place the venting needle over the top of the neck of the bottle and press home firmly so the internal needle penetrates the rubber membrane. Then lift off the plastic cover. Dispense one drop of blood culture to the following plates the chocolate, blood agar and chromogenic media. If more than one drop is dispensed this does not matter. To the two sensitivity plates marked ESBL and GENT add three drops of blood culture. If more are added this does not matter but three is ideal. Lastly Add one drop of the blood culture to the sterile bijou containing saline. This will be used later to inoculate the remaining two sensitivity plates. Use a sterile plastic loop to spread the blood agar, chocolate and chromogenic media plates. Identify where the drop of blood was added to the media and from then starting here as illustrated in the diagram go from side to side with a plastic loop. Use a sterile swab to spread the sensitivity plates marked GENT and ESBL. Starting on one side of the plate, sweep side to side until one has reached the other side of the plate. Then rotate the plate 120 degrees and repeat, and then ro rotate 120 degrees again and repeat. Use a sterile saline previously inoculated with one drop of blood to inoculate the remaining two sensitivity plates. Place a fresh sterile swab in the saline, then remove it and press against the side of the glass wall to rinse off any excess fluid by rotating the swab. Then use a swab to inoculate the remaining sensitivity plates. Again, go from side to side and rotate the plate 120 degrees twice to ensure an even inoculum of the plate. The antibiotic susceptibility discs can now be added to three of the plates. Add the ESBL discs 
to the plates marked ESBL. Using the NEG1 and NEG2 disc dispensers, add discs to the two sensitivity plates which are neither marked GENT or ESBL. To the remaining sensitivity plate, add a gentamicin gradient strip using the sterile forceps. Once the work is completed, the plates can be removed from the safety cabinet and placed within a plate carrier. The gentamicin and ESBL sensitivity plates should be put separate on top of each other. This is to ensure that there is rapid equilibration of temperature for these two plates. The carrier is then loaded into the incubator.